That's how serious the problem of brokenness is, woundedness is, evil is, sin is. I don't think there's any education system or religious system that's ever going to be able to exclude the scar of brokenness and evil. It's inside this matrix that you and I come to God. So I, I'm talking too long, but I just want to say enough so, to help you get over your unnecessary, paralyzing shame. If you're looking for a perfect institution, of course, you know what I'm going to say. There isn't one. It right. doesn't exist. So you might as well <laughs> choose your poison. Where are you going to uh, uh, deci decide to recognize evil and recognize good? and learn to live holding both of them. Hopefully, the good triumphing over the evil. Father, there, <clears throat> this reminds me of something you said when we first started talking about the fact that only Germany and only South Africa had been able to look at their shadow Corporate, side. Yeah. And I was wondering whether or not, since Americans have difficulty talking about it, whether it might be, a, might be possible for them to hoist the banner of goodness when they need to, but also see the shadow in the contemplative demonstrations about the shadow. Mm. I consider the civil rights movement a contemplative demonstration, a part of America's shadow. Um, I was in Selma with my father as a young girl, and I know those walks were contemplative. And I'm, I'm just wondering if at a football game, can America still be great if athletes take a knee not to disrespect the flag, but to stop the killings of unarmed young black children? 